What we're doing today is we're talking through some songs that have hit a billion streams on Spotify. And I am taking you around uh, some Suffolk landmarks. I loved growing up in Suffolk. As a kid, you just sort of run wild. This is my high school, Thomas Mills High School, where I met my wife, who Perfect is about. Look at that. That's a view. And I've not seen the boring you? fields in so love, love long. I know I've grown, but I can't wait. We are at Framlingham Castle, which is the castle on the hill in my song. And this hill is where me and my mates used to come as kids to roll down, and then we used to come as teenagers to drink cider and smoke. This song was written basically about my childhood. I'd been in America for months and months and months on end. I missed normal British things, and you know, it doesn't get more British than that castle. Do you reckon there are many pop songs about English heritage sites? So this is Decoy Studios. I brought some memorabilia that are connected to each Billion Stream song. I thought we'd do something different. But we will eat fish and chips out of them later. We have to. It's part of it. White lips, pale face. This will be a hoodie from the Plus era. When I had no money, I always was like, when I make some money, I'm gonna buy a Ralph Lauren hoodie. So on my first tour, I basically bought one of these in every single color, and that was all I wore for three years. Over here, this is the perfect Billion Streams plaque, and this is me and my wife. Her family are like big, big skiers. So she taught me how to ski. I was just like, I'm going to write a love song, and if it's cheesy, it's cheesy. Love songs should just be uh, completely what you feel without trying to temper it in any way. This is the puppet we used in the Happy Music video. Basically, I was on tour and couldn't shoot a music video. <laughs> so we used the puppet. This is the Billion Stream plaque for Photograph, and then this is my Year 11 Prom Award for um, Most Likely to be Famous. You should see the suit I wore for the prom, though. It's f***ing horrendous. It's like pinstriped, and then I had like a polka dot shirt, and just, yeah, I was never a stylish bloke. So this is the Billion plaque for Thinking Out Loud. This was the very first Grammy I won. I think all songs in some way should feel like, uncomfortable to put out there. Like the first line of this song is when your legs don't work like they used to before. That was literally a line about my grandmother had lost the ability to walk. Writing that was a bit like, can I say this? They're the lines that people remember. The A-Team was my first ever single. I played this in empty rooms and now I play it in stadiums. I think this is one of the most important things that I have now. It's em emotional seeing that because it harks back to a time where the idea of a billion people listening to a song was like out of the question. This is my first proper gigging guitar. As you can see, it's like falling apart. My very first girlfriend, who the whole of the Plus album is about, that's her hairband from that, and I think this is another hairband from uh, something else, maybe a festival. And then Cyril, that's what I call my guitar's names. Cyril and Ed, yeah, there we go. They say she's in the class 18. This is the Billion Stream plaque for I Don't Care with Justin Bieber, and this is the hand ahead from the music video. Do you want to wear it? Looks good. Happy days. Well, this was me, Taylor, and Ariana played the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show in 2014. What I love about this picture is everyone looks at it and they go, oh, it's Ed with lots of girls, but actually Hosey is up here as well, <laughs> which I love. <laughs> I found it very surreal at the time. I was like, I don't belong here at all. And that's kind of what the Beautiful People song is about, is about me always feeling in rooms that I don't really belong. It is a ridiculous picture. This is my very, very first Billion Stream plaque for Shape of You. This, for a time, was the most streamed track. And then Blinding Lights, The weekend took it over. I sent him a uh, Nebuchadnezzar of champagne, which is taller than me, to say congratulations. I didn't write this song for my album. I was writing it with someone else's story in mind. This was a song that I didn't expect to be as big as it was. I love playing that song live. It lights up a stadium, and you can see people really, really enjoying their own memories for it. I love it now. I just had to be convinced at the time to put it on the record. So this is Bad Habits, Billion Streams, and this is the suit that I wore in the Bad Habits video. 
it still works. <laughs> it still work? I remember they like glued them in. Oh God, that's grim. Ugh. I'd probably say my favourite artist ever is Elton John. I uh, essentially dressed up as him in the Shivers music video and he gave me a pair of uh, Gucci glasses for it. How do they look? Does it suit me? So this is the tree that I wrote Galway Girl under and Ireland gave me a bottle of whiskey for going six times platinum. I would say it's my most polarising song. If people have a war cry about why they don't like me, it's usually this song. But as you can see, a lot of people liked it. I think it splits opinion because it's not cool. It's not a cool song, but I'm not a cool guy. I feel like if you try and make cool music, I think that's the most uncool thing in the world. It's done all right. It's not Pray For Ed out here. Oh mate, can I get scampi chips and a better sausage, please? Of course. This is what England's about. This is like my go-to meal on a Friday. Seeing them all laid out is pretty mad, because it's been 15 years of work. It's mad to see them all together, basically. Everyone uses music for different things, and everyone has different memories and emotions connected to songs, and I'm really grateful that my music has travelled so far and I get to sit here and eat fish and chips out of it. I'm on my way.